The reality is that this is a ticking time bomb and it's a real life crisis right now in the United Kingdom. One in seven of all wildlife species are at risk of extinction and more than half of all wildlife is in decline. If we do not take action right now, then the biodiversity we know and love, the British countryside we know and love, the very existence of habitats that we take for granted are in peril. It's not just important, it's actually vital. Probably over 37 years, rescued just about everything from everywhere that you could ever imagine. The objective of Wildlife Aid over the last 38 years has been to rescue, rehabilitate as many British wild animals as possible. It's been running leatherheads for nearly four decades now. They respond to 20,000 incidents every year, which is phenomenal. Good afternoon, Wildlife Aid Foundation. Um, there's a badger in the middle of the drive. It doesn't look very well. Um, I've just seen um, a fox in a really bad way. It looks like a little cub, but it's got a big cut on its face. Uh, it's a baby deer. I think both its legs are broken, its back legs. We're a centre of excellence in our field. The knowledge of the treatment of wildlife that we've ascertained is through sheer experience. Wildlife aid is there to rescue the animal, rehabilitate the animal, and release the animal. And I can tell you from personal experience, there is no greater feeling than fixing a wild animal and seeing that wild animal go back to its natural habitat to have a normal quality of life. We've saved well over 100,000 animals in our existence. Those individuals have gone on to breed and reproduce generation after generation. But animals just don't get into trouble in Surrey. <laughs> it's everywhere. There are so many places in the UK that need our help too. What's currently happening when people are rescuing wild animals, whether that be from the road or built up areas, even their houses, they're taking them as one would naturally assume to their vet. A conservative estimate is that 170,000 wild animals arrive at commercial veterinary practices in need of help every year and a fairly large percentage of those animals are euthanised. So if the vets knew what to do, that would immeasurably help the outcome for that animal. There's a gap in knowledge, there's a gap in awareness. I mean, the reality is that in most undergraduate courses, there's a limited time frame within which you can learn about wildlife care. They have different physiological needs than it will be with a cat or a dog. And therefore, I think it's really important that vets and veterinary nurses and other veterinary professionals have appropriate training. And that's exactly what the Wildlife Aid Foundation are trying to do, build an infrastructure for the medical care and for the rehabilitation care of these extraordinarily important creatures. So what we need to do is take our knowledge and give it to people who can take it to their area and repopulate their areas. And then suddenly, saving a few thousand animals becomes a few million animals. We need to inspire people to understand what we do, why we do it, and then to take up the cause. So in order to teach veterinary professionals, we need a larger and far more specialised facility.
A couple of years ago, we were left the most amazing legacy of a million pounds. This enabled us to go out and purchase 20 acres of land and it's only half a mile away from where we are now. We spent a long time developing the plans, deciding exactly what we wanted. These plans were then presented to local government and approved and now they've been backed by national government too. Chairman, the work of the Wildlife Aid Foundation is absolutely wonderful. However, they are working in very outdated and cramped conditions and they badly need more space in which to work. The site could become a vibrant hub of nature. The ponds would attract all manner of birds and a chance for the public to see these and understand their habitat. It's an opportunity, I think, not to be missed. The need for an educational facility is so important. School children are appallingly ignorant of the fantastic wildlife we have in the UK. The wildlife survey was carried out recently and out of 2,000 adults, more than a fifth did not know that a red kite was a bird, nor could they identify a sparrow or even a barn owl, and a large proportion had never set eyes on a hedgehog. When we've raised the funds, the whole operation will move from the existing site to the new site, which will allow us to do everything we've done in the past, the rescue, the rehab and the release, but it'll allow us to go so much further. And I feel having got wildlife aid where it is after 37 years, I have a massive responsibility to make it continue after I've gone. I want to leave a legacy that works, that can be built on in generations to come. So I owe it to the animals, I owe it to the volunteers, I owe it to the, to the future. There is a way of, of rebalancing the situation which we need to understand and deal with. If somebody came in here who didn't know what it was about, I think I'd just say one thing to them really, and that's be here for a day and tell me it hasn't made a difference.